Hi, my name is Aaliyah English, and today I will be telling you about the wonderful Universal Studios. Now, I have to honestly say that it was the best vacation I've ever had in my life because I just actually got to spend time with my family, and it was a lot of fun. Of course, we had our arguments here and there, but in the end, we're still family. We're forced to love each other, and I just love spending time with them. Now, once you get to uh, Orlando, you want to make sure you stay at a really good hotel. You don't want to stay at a Roach Motel where you check in, but you don't check out. Um, so make sure that you find a really good hotel. And the one place that I recommend getting a hotel at is Westgate Resort. Um, it's a really nice place. You could walk around at night and feel completely safe. It's really nice. It has a water park. You can uh, see the fireworks from Disney from your hotel room, and it's really nice. And I just love it there. So make sure to go check out Westgate Resort if you happen to go to Universal. Okay, now on to Universal. Now, once you get to Universal, just to let you know ahead of time, it's going to be split into two parks, Island of Adventure and regular Universal Studios. Now, for our Island of Adventure, you can't, it's not like regular, like, Bush Gardens or King's Dominion, where you pay for the whole park, you ride all the rides and everything for, like, the whole day. You have to plan it in ahead, because you can't ride every single ride there in one day. Um, plus the two parks you have to play, you have to pay for each park. It's not a bundle together for both parks. You have to pay for each park. So make sure that you want to, you know, make sure you know which park you want to go to before you get there. Luckily, I was able to go to both parks. Now, when I went, uh, I got to experience a lot of cool things, actually. Um, for me, I'm a huge film nerd. I love films. Film is, like, literally my life. And I actually got to touch Steven Spielberg's chair. And I know that's not really a huge deal to you guys because, you know, you may not be a, as huge of a nerd as I am. But Steven Spielberg is the reason why I love film so much. He's the reason why I love creating film and everything. So it was a huge deal to touch his chair. And uh, I actually got to use Spanish. And fun fact, when you go down there, Florida, especially the Orlando area, is really diverse. Because there's a lot of people there who speak Spanish, and there's a lot of people there who speak French and Italian. You can name any language, and everybody speaks it down there. So, um, it's, it's really cool, because everybody speaks a different language, and you get to learn something new every day. For instance, I was standing in line getting a pretzel, and, uh, you know, there's this lady that's standing in front of me, and she asked me in Spanish, is this a line? And I said, yes, but I said, si, and which is yes in Spanish. And she said, gracias, and I said, de nada. So she said, thank you. I said, you're welcome. So that was really cool that I got to actually understand her for once, and it was really cool using Spanish. It's not my native tongue. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that was cool. So let me tell you one of my favorite rides there. So, my favorite rides that I rode while I was at Universal is The Mummy, The Jurassic Park River Adventure, The Simpsons Ride, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket, uh, Spider-Man, The Hulk Ride, and Doctor Doom's Free Fall. Now, also for you Harry Potter fans out there, there's The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which is kind of a park inside of a park. And it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, one of my favorite rides there was Escape from Gringotts, and that was a lot of fun. Because it was kind of 4D, and I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd, so I really enjoyed it. Also, I got to try Butterbeer for the first time. Butterbeer is this fictional drink that J.K. Rowling, the author of Harry Potter, she uh, created this drink called Butterbeer, and she wrote it into the books. And all my life, I wanted to try it, and I finally went to Universal Studios, and I did, and it's really good. It's like $5 for it, and it's like maybe $6 for a souvenir cup. But, um, it's really good, and I recommend drinking it. Now, when you go there, they're going to try to persuade you into buying a wand. Just because you see it in the books and you really want a wand, don't buy it, because it's, like, $50 for a wand. You could go outside, break a stick off a tree, and call it a wand, and that's better than the actual thing. Now, uh, the rides that are in Island of Adventure are Doctor Doom's Free Fall, The Hulk, Spider-Man, The Jurassic Park River Adventure, now, those are a lot of the good rides, but the ride that was in Wizarding World of Harry Potter was Escape from Gringotts, um, and that was it. Well, no, there's more rides, but that was my favorite ride out of all of them. Now, the rides that are in the actual uh, park and Universal are The Mummy. I remember riding The Simpsons ride. Um, I rode The Minions ride. I tried to ride uh, Shrek 4D, but that was a super long line. I had to wait like two hours for it, so I didn't stand in line long 
But, um, yeah, there's a lot of rides there. You'll never get bored. So if you go to Universal, make sure to ride some rides. And uh, most of them are, like, platform rides. And then uh, some of them are roller coasters. So there's a lot more roller coasters than just what I just mentioned. Now, the food. When you go down there, the food is really good. It's expensive, but it's really good. Um, I got some onion rings, and those were the best onion rings I've had in my life. Uh, I got pizza, and that was really good. Um, there's this restaurant in Orlando called Bahama Breeze, and they have really good coconut shrimp. It's really expensive, but yet again, it's really good. The, um, you know, the restaurants down there are really good. Uh, they have Cold Stone ice cream. They have Bahama Breeze, this, uh, one, like, I guess, Bahama restaurant. Um, you know, they have a lot of, like, different restaurants there. It's really good. So, um, make sure to bring a lot of money because it's kind of a tourist trap. Also, everyone is super nice down there because uh, when I went to Bahama Breeze, I really wasn't having the best day because we had to cancel because uh, it was raining. So we went out to eat and we went to the restaurant called Bahama Breeze and the waiter, he was super nice to me because he saw I wasn't really having a good day. So he brought me two huge like smoothies and a pineapple on the house and it was a lot of fun and he was really nice to me and um, he also looked at Ansel Elgort. Like, uh, strangely enough, he looks like Ansel Elgort, and he's the guy that played the main character in The Fault in Our Stars, and so I kind of found him attractive, so I was really happy he brought me two free drinks, because I was like, hey, if you're going to bring me two free drinks, why don't you bring me your number two? Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, Universal was so much fun. Um, if you don't want to go to Universal, down also in Florida, they have uh, Disney World, and that's really cool from what I heard from the friends that I made that went there. But other than that, yeah, have fun at Universal or in Florida. Um, if you don't want to visit any of the theme parks, they also have, like, endless amount of things to do. They have indoor skydiving, Dave and Busters. Uh, they have parasailing tours. They have boat tours. You could go wrestle an alligator, for all I know. You could go defuse a bomb. I don't know. You could do whatever you want down there. Oh, no, you can't, technically. But you name it. They probably have it down there because that's how much stuff there is to do. Uh, so, for more information, just go check out Universal Studios' websites for more um, on the rides and the food and whatnot. And uh, thanks for listening.